my enemies love it when I make a video like this. <clears throat> they salivate. <clears throat> and look crazed. Friends, it really matters what beer you drink. <clears throat> testing, taste testing them is a very good idea. <clears throat> this one's a breakside pilsner. That's what they're calling them now. A little more of a touch of the uh, the Wolfsbane concentrate, Fred, and. Those old covered pages, you know, you know the ones. <clears throat> Steep them in it, and then run. Uh, what is it? Oh yeah, 158 hertz through it. <clears throat> you know, in the price pattern. Yeah, the old price pattern. Stitch the Japs too well. <laughs> Feed back uh, that back to him ten times fast, Fred. That'll raise some hackles. Anyway, man, I'm, I'm sorry about all this. You know. You know, this is really killing me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read that. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to read off the code. And tense for me there. Fiddlesticks and gumbo. Over the edge we go. Whew. I'll just be a minute. I don't need any Jack Bauer types around anymore. They're all gone. <clears throat> Oof. Oof. I mean, you know, we, we got a pretty good deal, Fred. You know, it's, uh, it's not so bad, my friend. <sighs> I was thinking that the road is a modern fairy tale, and you know it's a good thing that Cormac McCarthy uh, wrote it, you know, because it's part of the public, uh, it's part of the, the embedded uh, uh, satanic consciousness of, of the, uh, the modern slave, and, uh, well, uh, more on that in a minute. I just gotta get this done. I don't think. No, I don't think Joe was successful. I uh, should have. Uh, I should have put more into that guy. He. Um, 
Ian Tracy, you know, and <laughs> good kids, good kids. Yeah, well, let's see, what's this thing? Oh my god. Where the hell? That's no, 2.4. Okay. This mo This morning. This morning. What? This morning, a child, though clutched in devil's claws on the scene of thorny armor, the destruction of my bones has gone further. There is a woman in orange raiment crossing to the left along a road path of bright violence rearing and horrible in its claims if you take the path that is the deal done by your mother oh the pain it will be as if you never were so they've been poisoning my back then and now I won't eat anymore a cloud of sparkles descended and there was talk of how I, I'm perfect with you now Present, I'm perfect, with Yanaba present in a sunlit sea, looking like a painting by her face. Oh, by a. Oh, sorry. Her face, a swarm of red and blue burning orbs situated in infinity. You could not see the shape of her body behind her garment mass of shifting symbols, the dread which infinity violate. I'd had this vision before, it had been played for me something from the 70s to obscure. Right. Okay, now... Okay, you got those, Major? Got it, Mr. Right. Uh, which one was it? <laughs> That's, that's, got it. Okay. Okay. While high, I came across an older model, Kirby Vacuum. I shot an ugly video <clears throat> in which I ousted a spider from the Grand Metallic Fortress where it was wintering. I discoursed on the use of carefully placed graffiti stenciling for the societal sabotage and demoralization of an MK Ultra targetard relating a fresh, 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 fr fresh, relating a fresh, a fresh, relating a fresh, experience of this, in s fresh, relating a, a fresh, 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 fresh. Mm. Fresh. We can salvage part of that one. Experience of this and setting experience. Experience. Experience of this. In setting my course to have that experience, I found myself in squeezed by unseen dangers, a hyped up awareness of threat, and a portion of the script unfurled. Something is carved into you, satanic and dark. To the spider, I said, your, your blood's all froze up, as though to an old friend, and then perhaps I tromped him flat under treads designed by the Panamanian jungle. Crying out the black tangle, he's accessing testosterone. Some nights back, I entered a rare state of mind where supposedly, where supposedly I was altering my anatomy. dissolving blockages or uprooting them. I caught an image of what looked to be Black Morgellons tangle wedged in a triangular hole. This was cross-sectional, two-dimensional, lacking in definition. That last bit is impossible, don't you know? It's impossible. That's impossible. That is impossible with the world we're making. 
you know. It was as though I used the top of a slender knife to poke it, pop it out, and from where there it spiraled away into a dark abyss, along with a curious sensation I didn't like much. This in time with a moronic corpse saying, No, you didn't. No, you didn't. They're like, No, you didn't. Strange, sad. What or who awaits them? I've got too much decency to delve into. I've, I've just got too much decency to delve into. The older bro, my child, 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 who, who, who friend, was talking at me in the, the good with night. Uh, we me, knew I am a man. Was it? Was it tonight? Was it tonight? I was some funny way to carry out. Oh, the good deal, good, The older bro, my child, who friend was talking at me. Okay. Right, okay, je suis juste un petit peu de désolé, la ma goût noir et manger à moi maintenant. Il est étudié euh, ma, ma, ma petite euh, petit amie. Non, non, c'est juste, c'est juste mon, mon ami primaire. Saying, he was saying that I had, uh, I, had, I had told my friend, his brother, that I'd be his wife if there was none other. You see what happens, friends? You see, this is satanic ritual abuse. Is, uh, is nothing to mess around with, friends. These eugenic sports, you know. These eugenic sports, they're. Uh, they're uh, too, too cold, too cold, too, too cold, too cold, too cold, too, too cold. Okay, friends, um, <clears throat> well, the rest, I'm sorry to say, is classified. I have to, uh, what I've realized is that I gotta preserve my life, you know. I'm just so sorry. Let me have another sip of this. Wow. It's like you can taste the <sighs> machine gun fire and Oh, the, what are they, 80 millimeter mortars? Blood of Italian soldiers and... Oh, uh, anyway. Uh, pretty good stuff, actually. What, anyway, anyway, friends, uh, so, so here's the thing.
um, there's been some revelations, you know, uh, and I've had this, well, this Morgellons worm uh, squirming around in my prefrontal cortex and in uh, this uh, sort of rhythmic machine rhythm. Well, it's it's rather complex uh, uh, rhythm uh, uh, set over and over and over and over again. Now, because it's repeating this this pattern, it's like I wonder if it's actually doing any real damage. But then, but then I find myself um, hunting for the right word all the time. And you know, when I talk to somebody, it's like I'm really, really reaching. You know, and I'm having to find incredibly novel ways to express myself you know and that, that did not used to be the case i used to be able to i used to talk very fast i used to talk very fast very fast and fluid you know i could talk at a mile a minute i was a, a race car driver when it came to uh uh expressing myself at any rate friends uh <laughs> so you know here we are <clears throat> they, they converted the video into this set of this series of shots, you know. And, and it, you know, I talk about some various things. You know, I rant and rave about the Malthusian death cult. Uh, the uh, the real religious. Uh, um, observance of uh, eugenics uh, as part of your your little globe cult uh, CIA pushed uh, you know CIA promoted uh, bullshit uh, UN agenda 21 religion you know it's highly Saturnian you know highly Saturnine rather hmm. and uh, you know Devil approved, oh, don't and energy, um, dude. don't lose that energy. Well, keep it prime, keep it, uh, you know, further. I, I talk about how the uh, keep it surging, how the road is, is, a, is a marvelous book. Yeah, I was just thinking to myself, and how I had such a, a it was my yeah, great well, pleasure well, to, to read it. It transported me nice. into it, transported me out of my um. The pain of my my uh, existence. I got to how nuclear winter tromp is around, uh, you know, inside the skin of uh, by, um, uh, someone, uh, someone else, you know, and military contract and fantasize about what it might be like to be a father, you know. Who had you know? This total and I said that the, the road is is about so much more you know, than a uh, than the nuclear winter, which is. Which is just a modern fairy tale, you know. Nuclear weapons not even being real, you know. The the footage they obtained of these these big explosions and mushroom clouds. Why, you know, it's just uh, just big stacks of TNT going off about the size of a living room. You know, they admitted that they did control groups, and there's even footage of them. You know. Uh, Stack that stuff with uh, uh you know, on pallets uh, or not, not well. Uh, they did, they did by hand. They did, there's no pallets. Guy doesn't want me dead, you know. It's been, it's been. You know, anyway. Uh, just a minute, friends. I gotta check on something. Aggrandizing, really. Oh right. Hey, thanks, Henry. All this satanic deception, you know, which is just employed to keep the elite in power, <clears throat> and that's it, you know. Everybody emulating them on down the line, you know.
Oh, boy. Don't veer off course into this old territory. Stop repeating yourself. Who cares? Right. I'm, Im I'm Illuminati confirmed. <clears throat> no, I won't. I won't to... Uh, I won't divulge the secrets of the Brotherhood. No, no. Uh, to do so would mean, uh, mean, uh, oh, bad things down the line. Oh, sure, you know. Let me, let me fear all these evils. Let me just fear all these evils. Yep. Let me fear man and what he can do. Hasn't he convinced me that he's the devil? That he is. Now, I was in a graveyard, you know. I I saw that the uh, those corpses, you know, they are they are the source of the demons, you know, that inhabit those people walking around. Generating heat. All by uh, all from yours truly, uh, John Boy McCracken, uh, greatest spy ever. Uh, yeah, overcook the pasta, damn it. The CIA, and oh. the KKK, and what am I doing? MK Ultra. And the Listen, friends, uh, those, uh, terrible Spartan ninja what am I trying to do? Viking Mongol Maoist warriors. You know, friends, you got to look at, uh, at the people uh, close to you. You know, you got to rule out your your immediate family. You got to rule out your relatives. You got to rule out uh, your next door neighbors, or just you know, people that you uh, knew you very well, friends of yours. You gotta into the sea. Got to rule out your teachers. You got to rule out. Uh, Fuck up there. Fuck up, son. You gotta rule out all the obvious, like the open, like semi secret society is like the Mason. You know? Elks Lodge and the fucking. I mean, all those people, you know, oftentimes they are roped into mind control programs. If you join a. You know, you join the Masons, there's a good chance they're gonna put you under mind control. And, you know, they're gonna use a hypnotic drug on you. And, You'll be bringing in your uh, your uh, children and grandchildren, you know, in for uh, you know some kind of some kind of programming because oh boy, you know, gotta. There's a there's a dire you know I don't know it's just uh, I don't know. Oh, everybody's got their roles to play, you know. She's a good little messy, but you know she she. Mm. You to get her homework done on time, you know. You got to keep up appearances. You know, I, I'm not terribly important. That, terribly important. Terribly important. I know. I know. I'm well, that's sorry. right, because I talked to a couple of... Hey, hey, come on. Come on. Hey, hey, it's okay. I talked to a couple of hey, gals and... You know, it's okay. We'll see. Hey. I, yeah, I don't know. Honey, honey. honey yeah, we'll see. Hey, come on. Come on. Come on. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. All right. Listen. Okay. You know. Well. Sometimes. Sometimes, you know. People mean well, you know. Uh, for, most, for the most part, they're, they're good people. They're just locked into some kind of satanic deception, and, you know, just like every, everybody is. And oh, it's strange, you know. They're good people for the most part. You know, gangsters, I mean, you know, they, uh, they'll, they'll pet a dog, uh, you know. Play games with a cat, you know. You know, uh, they get a warm feeling, you know, with a 
They only know how to do one thing. See a baby. That's just, you know, <sighs> top them off, yeah. you know. Cut that kind of thing. Down. You know, uh, nobody's all bad, man. Nobody's all bad. You know, they just think they have to do these things. I walk up. Nice and slow on up the pyramid. Oh, you know. <sighs> oh, boy. That's where we want to go. With oh, boy. Motor, we'll get there. Sure and well. And, uh, and how. And how. Never needing to oh, stop and fuel up. Only to needing to regas uh, uh, the magnets. You know, you just, you just, you Maybe I should go to Mexico. Embed Zap those implants. Is a, is a, well, it's a, it I think that's the my next, the next, the next step. And, um, but I'm, I'm just going to do that. At the same time and Got to be careful about what I say at this point. You know, I'm just, uh, you know. About God and nature and. Oh, yeah, let me fear, uh, you know, no more of this. I don't care. Beautiful little girls who are... You know, you got to suspect the people were very close to you. It was strange, you know. Whenever I went over there, I had this very warm feeling. Trying to preserve... <sighs> yeah, these were, these were people who were very... Um, out and very aligned with the horse energy, you know. Energy of the horse. The horse being a character in the Chinese zodiac, you know, it's a twelve-year cycle. I'm just speaking out into the uh, into infinity, you know. I was born into. Speaking out into infinity. It can't be. Uh... Oh, and they they love me. You know, they love me. We love Gabe. We love Gabe. Why, if Gabe were a girl, I'd want him to marry my son, you know? Ha, 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 you know. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. She's got one in her hand, I mean. Oh, it's all very understandable, you know. She does have one in her hand. I had heard her talking one time about and, uh, uh, some kind of apocalyptic 80s novel. That's, this has been, uh, might have been something obscure, might have been something uh, too unpleasant, you know, really too unpleasant and, uh, we're going to, uh, to have ever really caught on yeah, uh, the and become popular. Maybe it was a popular book. I don't, I don't, I don't know what it was. You know, when men tried to you know, trudge uphill, you know, they had the they were forced to take off their, their boots and, and cars. The kind of thing that you know? make people scheme and generate yeah, strategies, guy. people who are connected with, with the military and organized crime. And he had a revelation about it, uh, one, of, one of many, uh, that led to all these industrial uh, yeah. uh, innovations, uh, you know, that have shaped the... Uh, generate some odd strategies. <laughs> Hedge uh, their bets, you know. 20, uh, 25. <laughs> the modern world is 25. It was as though... <laughs> It was as though his father, uh, uh, you know, had some notion that, uh, well, he could just drop dead at any time, you know. He needed to put his uh, son on an accelerated crash course towards being a man, you know. But they have their uses. All kinds of uses, and that's how we won. You know, it's just multi tiered, you know. Oh, whatever happens, it doesn't matter, you know, whatever happens. Doesn't matter. Oh, he'll be a sports star, you know. All right. Oh, we'll dope him up on t uh, steroids, you know. Oh, it doesn't matter, you know. By the age of thirty-nine, he'll uh, he'll it'll be as though he's fifty-five. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. By the way, the world's going. Who knows? Who knows? The lot you see. Just fuck everything up, you know, for people. They killed. They just kill people. Kill people. 
kill people, extinguish them, extinguish them. Hmm. So, uh, <laughs> well, I'm really a mess, man. I'm just all that messed up. I really, uh, you know, I always had a good warm feeling whenever I was over there. Like, these people know what's going on. These people know how to live. All the things I would learn. You know, all the things I would learn. What do they have against me? I, I, le I learned secondhand, you know. I, well, I learned through my friend, you know. About his father's disagreements with my father you know we were sort of well we were sort of kind of vegetarians at the time we had this book almost in the 70s it was diet for small planet it was you know it's just a, a, a product of the uh the cia's uh, machinations you know in eugenics oh just like all the feminists you know they um they orchestrated events in the lives of all the uh, all the major feminist writers, for example. You know, give them a terrible, terrible experience with men. This was later admitted to. Anyway, yeah, it's just a curve of population growth. <laughs> Create a lot of useful idiots. Anyway. Uh, so this diet for the small play anyway, we were vegetarians, uh, sort of, kind of. Periodically, you know, we'd have some, uh, I remember when we, when we had some barbecued Friends, chicken, wow. Say, I won't be a child sacrifice. You know, I ate the, the cartilage, I cracked the bones uh, the, in my teeth, I sucked out the marrow. I About every aspect of the the chicken was great. Gaddafi, he was a great man. You know, he wanted <laughs> anyway, to put Libya on the gold standard. And I still do that to this day. It was good for your friends. Back dinar. Man, he was into all kinds of free energy. That's something a lot. Whenever of I've, uh, uh, you know, whenever I have, whenever I I have uh, uh, killed well, any animal, I, I drink the blood. Infinity magnet motor. Drink the this warm blood. Involves three As much of it. And all these paddles, see? It's very, it's it has a nice, a nice taste to it. Effect. A very uh, nice taste to it. You know, they weren't doing like anything. a soup. Like a very, electricity, but very uh, uh, delicately soup. spiced soup, really. And then it, it'll be a lot more... Uh, uh, Strange that more people don't do this. I, I realized it was just a, uh, well, a spiraling arrangement anyhow. And uh, we had one device that generated a little too much lightning, so... Oh, you know, there's blood uh, pudding, blood careful. sausage. In the future. There's a nice taste to it. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about all this. God damn it. Oh, well, you know. God. Mm. Oh, it's a, you yeah, know. It's, it's, uh, you know. Oh, you know, uh, let's see. Fred, um, you know, uh, have him get back to me. And, and, At and any rate, way. um. Uh. I got some, got some business I need to attend. During the prevision, yeah, my handler said, "Well, likely some. You know, oh, they probably were the ones involved." But I remember, I mean, uh, I don't know. Maybe they farmed it out. You know, saying that I maybe they farmed out my induction into MK Ultra. Well, I know they did. Well, it may not have been them. They just knew. They were offering. Friend. Which eugenics cult were, were offering my, friend my neighbors to me, died recently. me as a they were offering me as a human sacrifice, you know, to be their uh, to be like a um, a transgender backup, you know, for this little boy, my friend, who'd been just mangled, evidently, because of what his father wanted for him. And, uh, yeah, he was born, you know, at the start. Of, he was born near the start of the... Uh, 
the sheep Which year, you know, the, the sheep or the goat year. That's like a very feminine time, whereas the horse year is like the most masculine time. Interestingly. Interestingly. So strange dynamics there, friends. Strange dynamics there, friends. Just so you know. Uh, the machines, I mean... So I, you know, I got inducted because I'd won a couple of fights. You know, they were orchestrating these fights between all the kids in the neighborhood, going to find out, you know, who's going to be victorious in the nuclear winter, you know? <laughs> which was sure to come because of this uh, fucking nationally televised event, this, uh, what was it called? The Day After Tomorrow or something? It's this movie that came out in 1983, it's, it's kind of silly. You know, if you watch it today, it's, it seems sort of silly in a way. The special effects aren't that, that great, but they um, they aired it. They aired it uh, nationwide. There's a big nationally, you know, all the time zones. You know, they had it synced in all the time zones. You know. And they adver they promoted the hell out of it. But everybody would see it. Big, big, massive societal level psyop. You know. Rich gray heather that'll turn to stone. It can be. And a swaying song that up jumps. Anyway. The heavens is possible. Like a thorny rose. So I was to be taught a lesson that I never forget for first beating this one kid. You know, he would just, you know, attack me all of a sudden without any provocation. And then these other two, these these other two kids who attack me without provocation. There he is. And they, they both attack me, and I uh, kick one in the head and I uh, fended the other off, and I. Uh, uh, I'd seen a Brandon Lee movie once. Uh, I was denied. I didn't. I wasn't allowed to watch television. At least that. You know. At least that. But you know, I had a, I had a photographic memory. I've got like a what it was it called a. Uh, it's degraded to a uh, what is it called a. Uh, I don't know a something something memory. Right. Anyway, <laughs> it's just it's like stop motion now. It's not not, well, not streaming not fluid images. It's all, you know. Oh, the mycotoxins and heavy metals, all this shit. Stuff that bypasses the blood-brain barrier and uh, and the microwaves, of course. You know. Nanotech implants, all that shit. Oh. Anyway, focus tape. Focus. So anyway, <clears throat> we were there. We were there. This was after the damages had been done. After I had been prevision all these future possibilities, and they channelized me, you know, further and further and further and further, and said, "Oh, you can't be this kind of man." You can't do this type of uh, this type of uh, uh, occupation. This, you know, no, we don't like those people. No, they're bad. They're bad. They don't support us and our our little fucking monstrous design with our all, all our little myopic fucking uh, tendencies. Yeah, you know, just like anybody, any of these psychedelic madmen of the CIA. So anyway, um, you know, uh, anyway, I was, uh, you know, I always decided that I would join the Marine Corps, where of course they got they got some mind control programs there. Everybody but me knew it. It was so fucking obvious. Like everybody in that fucking platoon, everybody in what's it called, thirty one. What the fuck? Why can't I remember it now? 3097? Wow, man. 3190. 
Oh my God, this is crazy, man. They say, you know, they say you have a good recollection of the, the platoon number. I, maybe I can pull it up. Maybe I've got some kind of documentation. It was somewhere in the 3000s. 3159. 31. 30. Goddamn. Goddamn. It was like they had clustered us all together. It was like they, they were going to work on us with the same kind of mind control script. Like there, there was some kind of uh, uh, problem. What, what those guys discovered, a lot of them were, were a lot more well integrated than I. They, um, they knew that there were attempts to mind control them. They knew that. I had not picked up on that yet. Because I, I was deeper than them. I had been more uh, substantially architected, you know. So... Uh, they knew it, and whenever I encountered one of them out in the out in the fleet, as they say, it would say some uh, some like, "Hey, don't don't let them don't let them you know fuck you over, Sergeant Pemble. Don't let them uh, you know keep you down. Don't let them you know mind fuck you. Don't let them uh, anyway." That's how it was, and like we had little little meetings, you know, late at night. We would talk about, you know, what was going on. Half of it I didn't pick up on, man. And there were people, I mean, they, you know, people in my, you know, my, uh, what was it called? My boot camp fucking unit. Uh, that, um, they, yeah, of course they knew what was going on. They were trying to, they were trying to help me, you know, they were trying to. Trying to help me, you know. They were trying to help me understand what was going on. They were forewarned and forearmed against all this shit. Some of them. I was a total sucker. My father, he'd been in uh, in the army though. Just prior to, uh, like, his unit was the first one that went to got deployed to Vietnam, but he. Uh, he had appendicitis, and uh, so different things were playing for him, evidently, rather than to die over there or go through that kind of horrendous experience. Oh, well, and uh, so, you know, here's our company to Mexico as far as smuggling drugs and doing some other hustling type stuff and he came to the attention of the CIA in this book that he wrote that, that did not get published that he, well he didn't finish it in time you know he didn't finish it in time they could have it published he died before then uh, he had them you know, anyway he said they were Interpol but it was really the CIA of course and they they made it so that he went into prison in, in, in Mexico. In a terrible, terrible time there. Really terrible time. That was to teach him a lesson. And when he got out, there, you know, right, he was a little more amenable. What they want to do, and I suppose. Anyway. Getting back to it, so I was sitting there with my friend, and it was like, you know, hey, we should try to be the most successful people, people out there, of all time, and you know, make all this money. But really, you know, we should try to change the world for the better. We should try to do all these great things, you know. Sure, we may we may part ways and go off in different directions, but if anything happens, uh, if anything happens. 
buddy. Uh, and I was willing to just come, 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 you know, come back, you know, in in rags, you know, and I'll, I'll, uh, hey, I'll, uh, I still didn't know enough about the hook you up with the top spot in my corporation, you know, because I'll know that you'll you'll have learned some things, and you know, you know, you gotta have, you know. And hey, we may, you know, go in an entirely different direction or start up a new business or based upon what you know and, and uh, hey, uh, you know, uh, anything's possible. The sky's the limit. You know, uh, we can change the world. We can create heaven on earth. That's what I thought at the time. Smoke shack. I walked out there. I was waiting on some paperwork or something. I didn't smoke. Yeah. Few Marines were there, then mulling over different. I don't know. I think a lot of this was lost on him. Things the products they might bring to market one day, you know. Well, I don't know. You know, he was, he was, he was enjoying it. He thought it was interesting. Hey, you know, Sergeant Pemberton. You know, some of the things I was saying. I, I related my speech, which I did. Huh? I said, you know, who knows? Maybe we'll we'll go to war. To, you know, we'll be in a war together. You know, I, you know, we gotta. Wow, it's, it's such a great. You know. Uh, you gonna do anything with it? You think? Somehow we should, uh, you know, like. Um, if one guy, you know, gets uh, gets hurt worse than the other, you know, maybe, and, and we're in some kind of situation where one guy has to sacrifice himself for the other, well, it should be the guy who's hurt worse, you know. I just thought it would be boring, you know, kind of boring. Because I'm for you and you're for me, you know. We're partners, partner, you know, that kind of thing. For other things, you know. You know. And then I, I further went on and was like, well, you know, of all these wicked, horrible people, you know, all these evil fucking gangsters, you know, just ruin your life, you know, and they ruin mine and all that, you know, I don't know, like it's the absolute worst case scenario, you know. That's going to save your life. Maybe, you know, and there's nobody else, there's no... And I predicted there's, there's no girl who will have you, you know, maybe. Again, this is after I've been horribly conditioned and channelized, you know, down into these, down inside this, this deep, deep, dark, terrible abyss, um, filled with, you know, uh, the worst kinds of rot from, uh, you know, a whole uh, bus full of 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 uh, uh, star cheer cheerleaders. Uh, I don't know. He'd been. Uh, I didn't always know. I rediscovered it. Or it turned into uh, early childhood. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's the most hellish condition, you know. We have. I said, well, well, you know, you know, I if, if the worst comes to worst, and there's no woman who will, will have you, you know, and you're you're all broken up and messed up and psychologically deranged. Maybe you know, possibly, you know, and I'm in the same situation somehow. Well, possibly I could be your your wife. So we may stand the brain. You know, that's what I said. That is, yeah, that is what I said. It's more even surface. And then he brightened up all of a sudden. It was strange. He, he brightened up all of a sudden. Yeah, I'm gonna get. You know, and he was like very. He was overjoyed. And then he said, "Well, just, just, just hold on a minute. I'm gonna go, you know, console with my father about this." It was like he was, had expected it. It was interesting. So he ran off. And I was kind of thinking, you know, I was like, well, well you know, and I, I told him before I went, I said, well, you know, this is only the, the absolute worst case scenario. You know, that should never happen. You know, where, you know, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm just for survival, you know, I'm for somebody surviving, you know, I'm for life. I'm for life itself, you know, is basically what I told him. And I don't know, half of that was lost on him, I think. I don't think he... Um, he had never taken uh, partaken of psychedelic drugs. I'm not sure. Maybe they, I th maybe they had just completely mangled him. I think that's probably what happened. Like I don't know. Maybe he was five or something. Damn, oh man, five. Ooh. 
Anyway, still going, still rolling. Okay. So anyway, I think that uh, I think that what he what he what he did. Yeah, he went to say well, he was only gone like a few minutes, and during that stretch of time, it was like my 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 father or my my older brother came up. It was like a diversionary. I don't know. Like, you know, what are you? We were, you know, on the on the border of his yard. You know. You know, microwaves. They uh. We're in that borderland. You know. There's a little break in the fence. The proteins. You know. They make a, a left-hand protein, a right-handed one. And he asked me what I was doing. Oh, well, I'm waiting for uh, my friend. And, you know, uh, I don't know what else. Oh, we've been talking about. Well, I don't know, a lot of, st a lot of stuff. So, <laughs> no. Any, anyway, and he went on his way. You know, he asked me some, some question about something. He was on his, his little mission of his own. I don't know. Large scale microwave. Uh, but my 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 uh, my friend came back straight away. You know, not a whole lot of time had elapsed. He sat down. He said, "We're gonna hold you to it." They don't turn out. And we're gonna hold you to it. This is the best one. I, I've oh wow! Well, the deal had been yeah. done. It had been signed in blood. You know what a joke! Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I did that, it's interesting. It's like he had expected. It. We're just making more. Very of interesting. Show. But anyway, uh, long no story problem. short, you know, he went and, uh, push box. well, you know, it was, uh, he's, his father and him, you know, I said, well, his father wanted to throw every egg in, in one small basket and balance it precariously atop a, um, a tall, tall pillar, you know, and, um, uh, came to find out, my friend, you know, he was, uh, there was no off-season for him. He was uh, always, always on multiple sports teams. Uh, so I'm working on a, a push box. Um, you know, culminated in him uh, it'll enable, being a, uh, I think a quarterback. Yeah, a quarterback. Of these things. But as it stands, on the high school football team, is, um, made by hand. Turns out one of the uh, one of the coaches was uh, you know was convicted of. Uh, being on uh, doping uh, the players, and um, I don't know. My my friend, he got a he got a scholarship to a college. Went there. I guess you know, like his, his character was, you know, just. <sighs> You know, he was just housed in ill-fitting clothes, fundamentally. And uh, somehow or another, I don't know. I don't know. I think it was a drunk driving incident that got him uh, evicted from the team. He lost his scholarship, and I don't think he ever really recovered after that. Then I learned that he uh, committed suicide late last year or something. Oh, I don't know. Then it specifies to, as the uh, about the cause of death. But, um, you know, there it is. Uh, the, here, you know, this well-to-do family befriended me and... Uh, you know, uh, yeah, I, I, you know, I have some interesting memories. I, I do have some interesting memories. You got no subtlety. That's um, which I disassociated from because it just seems so contrasting to what to what you know my my general experience with them, and I really like those people. You know, I can you know, on, on a lot of a lot of different levels. Though, you know, I remember it concerning me, for example, to learn that, um, you know, from my friend that his, his father didn't like that our family was, early on anyway, vegetarian. You know, that evidently meant we were prey animals. And, um, and that, um, uh, 
my uh, my brothers and I were uncircumcised. Very true. That was another strike against us. So that you know that that made me a little distrustful of his father, you know. But then you know he seemed uh, he seemed fairly you know he seemed to be a you know a generally good you know character on the whole, and I just kind of dismissed it. And you know his friendliness and uh, you know so on and so forth. Anyway, but I do, you know, I've recovered some memories since then. Hey, you know, of, of, uh, of uh, interesting little events. Interesting little events when my friend told me to wake up in different things like, you know, little programming language and weird, weird stuff. Weird stuff I disassociated from. So it is interesting. It's kind of interesting. Then I like, you know, in the prevision, like I'm piecing it to all, I don't know. I'm able to see these things. I'm able to pick up on them because I'm, I'm, my nervous system's supercharged on uh, LSD or you know or some some kind of psychedelic. There's a number of them. My, my my friend was saying like, well, of all the things we did, you know, we did all these things. Of all the things we did, he was saying this to his father. Of all, you know, all the things we did, you know, uh, what we did to Gabe, that, that, you know, that troubles me, that keeps me up at night, or that, that really bothers me, or something along those lines. Yeah, he could have been, he could have really been somebody, but we really, really screwed him up, you know. We didn't need to do that to him, you know. Uh, that was, and that, I, that that screwed me up, you know. And his father says something along the lines of, hey, we are who we are. We did what we did. And you wouldn't be in the place you are at right now, having all this money, et cetera, et cetera, without us doing those things. You know, we might have made some mistakes, sure, you know. That happens, you know. That and just, you know, who knows? Everything else, everything else, everything else is just culminated in the guy's evident suicide. So it is interesting. It is interesting that they were sort of grooming me. It was as, as like some kind of backup, you know, as some kind of. I was to be his good, good friend. Initially, I was to be his good, good friend if everything just went completely awry. And we were in, in a nuclear winter type situation. And we had to figure out how to kill and eat everybody else. Isn't that fascinating? Isn't that just fascinating, friends? So the lies of the devil are really um, something else. You know, you, you do, you, with your thoughts, you end up manifesting these things through your actions. You do. You do. So it's like, I know that nuclear weapons did not exist at that time. Like in, in like 1986, 1987. But do they exist now, friends? Do they actually exist now? That's a big question for you. Which I'll, I'll leave you alone with. This has been a John Boy McCracken video, and, uh... you heard please like share and subscribe john boy mccracken the most target tarted man in america